saw it with what's that lady's name? Pearl. I saw it with uh ah, uh, it was somebody else I saw it with. I can't re remember the name, but speaking truth. Um and it was I was even thinking about Kevin Samuel as well upon doing this video today. I said, man, that, who knows what really happened to him? But that we all know what we heard happened to him, but who knows what really happened? He was one that spoke a lot of truth as well. Well, here it is. We see that Pastor Charles Dow, uh, my pastor, who has been on YouTube for how I mean, well over 10, 15, I don't know, probably upwards of 20 plus years on YouTube, not only preaching and teaching, but showing you literally his life and full example of it on YouTube, showing you everything from and bringing up subjects dealing with politics, dealing with building, dealing with hunting, dealing with what to do in this, econ in these, in this economy, uh, growing food, living off grid, living, you know, building up your own communities and homesteads, you know, building up the community, the same thing that we've heard people in our community, especially melanated folks, say they was going to do for years and years and years of our life, but would never no fruit whatsoever to show. Here it is. We've seen this man put his life on display for years and years. And the truth of the matter is, is there's a lot of people who have learned and saw because of the example that Pastor Dow has shown on YouTube. Well, come to find out, YouTube demonetized him. Last week during blog talk, you know, his, uh, uh, the, the the blog talk radio show that he does, but it's also live on YouTube. So foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double double honors, <coughs> Salakia, to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. You hear what I said? I said Great Millstone, man. Not these other camps and either other people. So I put that clip in there that. The uh, what, what's that dude named Pastor Dowell or whatever? Them dudes be going off, man. They uh, you know, got a bunch of Edomites up in their camp and all that. Not to mention, what are we supposed to be doing anyway? What are we supposed to be doing? Going out and teaching, and I not yet one time have I ever seen any of them straightway people or a or, or, or Pastor Dow or any any of them people going out to the highways and hedges. And teaching our people what the truth is. What they have is a mixture, a little bit of a mixture of a Hebrew Israelite, uh, a mixture of uh, Christianity, and you know, and something different. I don't know what it is. Now it's said that that dude, uh, Pastor Dow, may be, may very well be a chocolate. What the, <laughs> what we call a chocolate covered uh, Edomite man? Okay, just saying. Now it popped up in my feed, and I recorded. I said, you know, I think I would do a lesson about this. And he was going into, uh, here it is, uh, Pastor Dow, he does this and he's, he shows his life and all that. And he got all these damn, you know, pew pews. You, you know what that is. You know, all these damn weapons and stuff behind him. It, it makes zero sense whatsoever. And they're one of them is going out and teaching the truth to nobody. And you got Israelites like this. You know, we want to build a community. We want to, oh, we want to. We want to do this. We want to do that. But see, you're not waiting on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He said, wait ye upon me. It's, it's his determination to gather the, the nations together. Not a rainbow coalition. Let's read this. What, what, what are we supposed to be doing? It's Jeremiah 3 verse 12. Go and proclaim these words towards the north and say, return thou black, uh, backsliding Israel, saith the Lord Yahweh, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, saith the Lord Yahweh, and I will and will not keep anger forever. All right. So these these people are straight. He, that dude had a whole lot to say. He, he's he putting his life out there, but is he putting his life on the line? You know, there's a lot of you Israelites talk a good game, but you don't do a damn thing. You don't do nothing but scoff and mock and try to get around and go around. And it's a bunch of nonsense. Verse 13. Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord Yahweh thy power and has scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord Yahweh. See, 
they're not, they, they are trying to, too busy trying to fill their own belly. Now, it is good, it is good to know, you know, how to, because Jacob's trouble is coming anyway. You know how to hunt and fish or whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, it's good to know those things. You know, and having a, 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 a stave, I'll call it a stave. I'll, I'll say it like that. Okay? It's, it, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, man, but toting it. See, that's Esau's blessing, man. Was the weapons. See, that's Esau with the sword, man. Okay? But they told it like it's, you know, that this is our way of life. and it, it, It's all nonsense. And yet again, let me reiterate, you don't see no one of them people on the highways and hedges teaching the 100% truth. Won't even proclaim it. Verse 14, turn, let's read it again. Let's read uh, verse 14, Salakia. Turn, O backsliding children, say after Lord Yahweh, for I am married unto you. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. So, I mean, that, that scripture right there told you to not, not everybody who says, Lord, Lord. You know, if you ask me, I don't know, man. The way they do things over there, it's, he got that compound spirit that it's just strange. Those dudes are strange. Very strange. All right. Verse 15. What did he say? Pastor. What pastor? That pastor. We'll look that word up. Let's see what pastor means. Verse 14. Uh, Slark at 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. See that? His mind. He will send his prophets to the highways and hedges, his pastors, his ministers. He will put the words in our mouth. That's why you got a lot of people proclaiming this and proclaiming that, but not doing anything according to the scriptures. Nothing. See, my phone had to chime on that one. Nothing according to the scriptures. They're not doing it. <laughs> uh, that being said, the, the people who claim to be Israelites or, you know, Israelis, and we'll say it like that. Uh, what, what you see, you don't see never one of them going out to the highways and hedges, but what? They just a bunch of liars anyway. Verse 15, and I will give you what? Pastors, according to my heart, which shall what? Feed you with knowledge and understanding. Shall what? Feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right. Not, uh, uh, you know, how to hunt and fish and, and, and uh, build a, a community. No. Uh-uh. Not build a community. This, it, go back and read Deuteronomy 28. The scripture said you shall be oppressed and spoiled and, and forevermore. Those are a part of the curses. You got to You got to embrace the whole Bible. You got to embrace the curses. That's how we know who the hell we are. That's why he teaches. And, and, and uh, got a bunch of Edomites and all kinds of nations and whatnot all up in his compound, man. Ain't no telling what's going on up in there. I've heard all kinds of different things, but I won't speculate. Let's go to that word, pastor. Let's move on down here. I won't make this too long. You see, pastor, it's uh, Strong's H7462. All right. However, he says it. Let's see how he says it. Strong's H seventy four sixty two. Ra ah. Ra ah. Okay. All right. Ra to pastor, tend, graze, feed. You see that? The script is what the scripture says itself. Feed you with wisdom and knowledge, the true wisdom and knowledge, the true wisdom and knowledge that the Israelites should be clinging to is the knowledge of the Bible, the scriptures, our manual. It teaches us how to live and what to do at every given moment. You see? All right. Let's see, to tend, pastor, to shepherd. What does the shepherd do? He leads his flock of sheep. He leads his flock of sheep to the right direction, to the right way. Huh? Of ruler, teacher, teacher of people as flock. Let's see, shepherd, herdsman, to feed, graze of cows, sheep, etc. Of uh, uh, I, uh, idler Israel as a as a flock man, so it's a teacher, a pastor, so to guide you, to guide you back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the truth. That's what pastors do. A true pastor is going to guide you back to the true word, man. Psalm thirty-seven, th uh, thirty-two, verse seven. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about. With songs of what? Deliverance. Deliverance. Salvation. Savior. There's only one Savior. You see? 
Yahweh Shai, he is our savior, the rock of our uh, salvation, our chief cornerstone. That's what you're supposed to be teaching as a pastor. See, as a teacher, as the scripture said, right? It's right, it's, it's right in your face. Verse eight, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Woo. See that? See, he's going to guide us. He puts the words in our mouths. Pastors, it is building a community. I type this in and see virtual team building a community. It was that dude. Uh, oh, yeah. Chief E from talking about he going 28 acres in a damn mule, man. He, uh, he going to build a community. And I'm going to invite the GMS brothers down to have some uh, uh, bottles of wine. It takes years to grow uh, grapes and wine, man. It's crazy. Scripture didn't tell us to go build a community. It told, it told us uh, to build the truth. To say and proclaim the way of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. That's what it told us to do. And nothing else, man. See? Let's go. Nothing else. It, it, keep it simple, stupid. You understand? Let's see here. What, what did I have here? Yeah, Luke 14. Yeah, here we go. Luke 14. Let's go back to. Mm hmm. Verse 21. So the servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then this is red letters now. Then the master of the house. Being angry, said to his servant, go quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor. Do you hear what that said? Huh? And the uh, and the uh, maimed and the halt and the blind. Bring them in. Bid them to the marriage. Tell them, thus saith Yahweh, about Shimei, I was shot. Give them the warning that all these things are getting ready to come to pass. The vision I had yesterday was extremely scary. Perilous times are coming. Okay. We are telling you, and whether they will hear a forbear, we will shake up the dust of our feet because ultimately, Yahweh has got everybody in the place where he wants them anyway. Everybody's back in their lot. You see? Verse 22, and the servant said, Lord, it is done, and thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. Woo! Verse 23, and the Lord say, said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges. Did you hear what the scriptures are saying? All these things that a bunch of Israelites just are not doing, man. You know, they're, they're not doing. Hey, the scripture said I will give you some pastors, and, uh, ministers and speakers and prophets. Some uh, uh, do the work of an evangelist. It said all these things. Huh? Let's read it again from the top. I like the way that rolled off my tongue right there. And thou, lucky, and the Lord saith unto the servant. What is, what is, we, are we not a bride? To Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, are we not his bride? The, uh, the word woman, are we not his woman? It, what does the word woman mean? It means servant. Th there's your, that's a divine order. Unto the servant, go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them. Compel them. It didn't say beat them over the head. It said just tell them, let them know, compel them. Whether they were here for a bed, they will know there was a prophet among them. All right, to come in that the house may be fulfilled. See, that my house may be fulfilled. Salakia. Verse 24. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. And there were great multitudes with him and turned and said unto them, if, if any man come to me and hate not, what? His father and his mother and his wife and his children and his brethren. See, it's an order. And sisters, yea, in his own life also he could not be my disciple we got to throw all this everything away that's my whole point that's why i'm going into this scripture right here because when you enter building a community and you're into doing this and doing that and, and trying to debunk the hebrew israelites when, when you yourself are doing nothing according to the scriptures to, to uh to help further the truth nothing and you know and i'm gonna say this too that's one thing you're not going to see, you know, with uh, brothers at Great Millstone and like-minded brothers. You are not going to see a monetized freaking uh, YouTube channel, man. See? Buy the truth and sell it not. You're not going to see us. What the hell? We're going to monetize for what? The, this, the, the, the true, the true uh, 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 riches are being given to you daily. Feeding the sheep. That, that's the true riches is in the Bible, man. You see, second Timothy four and verse two. What does it say? What should we be doing? 
preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. See that? That's I mean, that is a very, very simple scripture with what doctrine. Another thing they're doing over there is teaching false doctrine. Everybody can be saved. Well, that's white supremacy. <laughs> you see? And these, these dudes, they don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. The election has obtained it and the rest were blinded. The scripture also goes into and tells you that the deceived and the deceiver are his, man. And, and honestly, I think that dude may be, uh, that Pastor Dow, I think he may be an Edomite, man. That's why he teaches. I mean, he, he tries everything. Oh, well, uh, Esau been done away with. Well, that's Christianity. Of course, they want to tell you Esau been done away with. They don't want to be uh, 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 associated with Esau Edom. They know that Esau Edom has a, a great judgment coming. Verse three, for the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and turn to the fables man verse 4 and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables what's a fable it's a damn lie man it's a it's a, a, a it's a it's a falsehood yeah, that's what Esau Edom does Mick he mixes the truth up with lies and tries to deceive you man that's what he tries to Matthew 22 and verse 9 what does it say what is this, what what did it let's go back mm -mm -mm. Added to the knowledge of witness, there we go. Matthew, uh, yeah, I'm listening to Apostle Gabar right now. It's an awesome epistle he's doing. Matthew 22 and verse 8. It's red letters again now. Thus saith he to his servants, there's that word again, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. The scripture is going in. Huh. Go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find. Bid them to the marriage. Bid them to the marriage. That's all we can do. That's what we've been sitting here to do, and that's what we're doing. To the best of our abilities. We all have, you know, we all may have a different office, different ways of teaching, different, uh, even different understandings, different strengths, and different weaknesses. That, that we, you know, that we all should be working on when I'm talking about the weaknesses, you know, and trying to get better and better and better daily. But what? Bid them to the marriage. Nevertheless, right? You see? You see that? What did they do? Let verse 10. So those servants went out into the uh, highways and gathered together all as many as they found. What? Both bad and good. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going into. Both bad and good. Because not everybody's going to listen. They're not, they're not going to listen. They're just walking by. They don't. They, Israel, two-thirds, man, they don't give a damn. They really don't care. They don't understand the uh, the king of terrors, they don't understand you. How about Shimei Shai? And he will do something to you, man. All right. Yeah, that vision had me scared to damn death. I ain't gonna lie. It scared the hell out of me, but I got delivered in the end of it, man. And in that right there, you know. <laughs> oh man, that's a that's a that's we creatures. That's a glimmer of hope. All right. Let's read it again, verse ten. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found. Both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. Verse 11. And when the king came in to, in, in to see the guest, he, he saw there was a man had not a wedding garment. Mm -mm -mm. And he said unto him, friend, how camest thou? How'd you come in here? Right. How comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. See that? So what did they do? Hey, he was weeping in that. He drug his ass out of there. He wasn't supposed to be there. He, he wasn't doing right. You doing wrong, right? Then say if the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Verse 14, for many are called, but few are chosen. That is deep. That's deep right there. For many what are called, but few are chosen. That's why you got to be careful straightway. Yeah, yeah I, I had Deuteronomy 28. Pull it up. Let's go here. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's move on down here. There's a couple of things I wanted to get out of this, you know, pertaining to this lesson. <clears throat> Slocky, uh, there we go. Verse 16. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll start at verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, 
to observe and to do all his commandments, which he, uh, which and his statutes, which he commanded thee this day, that all these curses, do you hear this? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So are we in the time of uh, trying to build a damn community and, uh, uh, you know, having uh, all these damn pow -pow pew pews and pow pows? Uh, to protect ourselves against the enemy. And no, 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 no. You, you got, you have to put your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He will deliver us. Verse 16. Let's read this. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Listen carefully. Cursed shall thou be in the city and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be the basket of thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of the body and the fruit of thy land the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shall be, shall thou be when thou comest in and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. So the scripture is plainly telling you that there is no time, no time to trying to be built and uh, be, uh, have the cares of this world because it's all temporal anyway. The kingdom is, the kingdom is coming. The kingdom is coming. In the meantime, in the meantime, what are we supposed to be doing? Teaching and preaching and feeding the sheep. See, that's the whole point. You see? Let's go right here. You don't know what the hell's on tomorrow anyway. This is James 4 and verse 14 in the GNT. Let's read this. Let's read this. You don't even know what your life tomorrow will be. You are like a puff of smoke which appears for a moment and then disappears so when you so when you put in all your trust in your in your uh, uh, worldly things and uh, we and we got to build a community and all that that's that, that black I, I can't stand that black shit salaki for the language that's that you know a uh, black hope it's just nonsense put your trust in your how about shimmy that's the whole point you see that's the whole point man pastor Pastor, you should know them by their fruit. I'm going to close out right here. Mm-hmm. Right. This is beautiful. Woo-woo. Let's go here. Matthew 7, verse 15. Red letters again now. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. And, and again, you know, I've heard a lot of things about that straightway group and all that, man. All kinds of controversy and Damn, you know, all kinds of stuff, man. All kinds of stuff. And if you're not going to follow your how about shim, y'all shot the right way to 100% truth, and you can just kick rocks. And if you don't like the message being, uh, you know, being put out there, because all this is, it has to be spoken. The, uh, this is the, uh, staying occupied in prophecy. This is, the, we are prophecy camp. We prophesy. We tell you before. Not tell you that the uh, the straight way is to build uh, the way is to to build a community and and uh, uh, baptize people in the water and and it just it's stupidity. Jake is through, man. You know, even if he if he I don't even, I honestly don't think he's a Jake. For anyway, verse sixteen, you shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. See, a good tree could not bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn to cut your ass down and cast into the fire. And that fire, that lake of fire is right here in Babylon, a.k.a. U.S. of A. That's where that fire is. He's going to leave you there and melt you. All right. Hey, just a simple, you know, just a simple, uh, quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Hopefully, it was edifying. Stay away from these groups, man. Stay away from these groups. You shall know them by their fruits, and you understand. You you either understand what's going on, or you just been blinded, you know. And that's that. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from every single day, every single day, you know, trying to get better. You know, I got I, I was going to give a, a testimony, but I, I'm trying to get better every every day, man. Trying to get better every day. And we all. Yeah, we, I know we all have our faults. I'll speak about me. Damn it. I got my faults. OK, I got my faults. 
And so we need to pray more, you know, and stay occupied in prophecies. And that's that's that, you know, just, you know, quick, just a quick testimony. That's all. All right. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Kwame Yasharala and Wa Abiba Ball. Boom. Shalom.